everybody. This is Terry Nance. Welcome to the Armor Bear Awakening. I believe awakening is taking place in your life. As you know, as we have a spiritual awakening with Jesus, man, we awaken to serve. And that's what's happened today. And I want you to just be an encouragement to your pastor and your leaders. I want you to send a note to them today or just tell them you love them and bless them in some way. Because I know many of them facing things, going through uh, things in their life. And you know, God wants to bless them today. And God wants to bless you in a fresh new way, something good's going to happen to you today. Uh, if you enjoy the broadcast, be sure and subscribe to it. Uh, go to godsarmorbear.com, get the material and everything. I want to just uh, say, I want to I maybe do a little something different today, but I just have this so much on my heart right now. And I know someone needs this. I believe Really, all of us need it. Uh, I was interceding uh, for our services here this last Sunday. And as I was interceding, I got up and uh, uh, and I just heard this in my heart. Uh, Terry, make a covenant of praise with me. And, and I stopped and I began to think about that. And the Lord just began to minister to me with everything that's going on in the earth. And every challenge that's coming into the body of Christ, you have got to make a covenant with me to, to praise me, to lift me up. You know, the Bible says in first Thessalonians 518, in everything give thanks. And I know we, we, we think about that, but we really don't think about it. But you know what that means? That means right now give God thanks. Father, I thank you for the privilege of speaking into the lives of people today. And I thank God for you listening to this and this lifting up and coming on you, the spirit of praise and worship to give you the victory to be the armor bearer you're called to be. And, you know, God, when he comes to Moses and he's talking to Moses about going, he introduced himself. He said, I am the God of covenant. I have a covenant and I'm reminding you of the covenant I have with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So I have chosen you to lead the children of Israel because I have a covenant with them. Now here in the same respect, we're to have a covenant with God. It doesn't make any difference what's going on. It doesn't make any difference what's happening. We're going, we have covenanted to praise the Lord. We have covenanted to lift up his name. And while, while that was just so strong in me, I went up to a prayer time right before the service and all of a sudden, one of the ladies in our intercessory group, she began to pray this. She said, she just said, you know, God spoke to me so clear out of Psalm 66 last night and I begin to declare this. And so I feel that I am to read this out loud and I want you to listen to this. Boy, when she read it, the spirit of God said to me, there's your covenant right there. And here it is. Listen to this. It says, make a joyful shout to God, all the earth. Oh, come on, Pastor Terry. I don't feel like shouting. You know, there's where it's called the shout of faith. Uh, that is where, that is what we are. God is a faith God. He loves you. And there's a shout on the inside of you. And I'm not talking about some emotional thing. I'm talking about a true shout. God, I love you. I praise you today. I don't care what's going on in my life. I praise you. You are the victorious God. Now listen to this. Make praise glorious. Say to God, listen, how awesome are your works? Through the greatness of your power, your enemies will submit themselves to you. Wow, what a word for today. Father, how awesome are your works through the greatness of your power in these last days. All your enemies are going to, they're going to bow before you and they're bowing before you right now in Jesus name. Uh all the earth will worship you, Father, and will sing praises to you. They will sing praises to your name. Come and see the works of God. He is awesome in his doing toward the sons of men. He is awesome toward you. I want you to start thanking God right now. God is awesome toward me. He is awesome toward me in health. He is awesome toward me in wealth. He is awesome in toward me in encouragement and lifting me up. God loves you. 
make a covenant as an armor bearer, make a covenant of praise with him right now. Come and see his works. He turned the sea into dry land. Remember all this. They went through the river on foot. There we will rejoice in him. He rules by his power. His eyes observe the nations. Do not let the rebellious exalt themselves. Oh, bless our God, you peoples, and make the voice of his praise heard, who keeps our soul among the living and does not allow our feet to be moved. For you, God, you've tested me and you have refined me and you brought us into your net. Oh, hallelujah. I don't mind being caught by God in his net. He wants to catch you. He wants to secure you today. The spirit of the Lord is here and the spirit of God is coming on you right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Man, uh, I hear a name, Charlotte, uh, Rhonda, I'm telling you, those who, whoever, if that's you, receive it right now. God loves you. I break that spirit. Uh, uh, of evil over your life. And I thank God, the spirit of joy, victory is yours in Jesus name. We're going to be armor bearers. We need to walk in victory. I mean, we need to declare the victory of God. Thanks be unto God that always causes us to triumph in Christ. God bless you so much. You have a glorious day.